Good morning, class. Welcome to Human K Channel. Today, we are going to delve into the fascinating work of one of the influential psychologists in the field of personality theory, Raymond Cattell. Born in Staffordshire, England, Cattell's journey into psychology was influenced by his experiences during World War I. Initially, he pursued physics and chemistry at the University of London, but his passion for understanding the human mind led him to shift his focus to psychology. Cattell collaborated with Charles E. Spearman and earned his Ph.D. in 1929, after which he applied factor analysis to gain insights into the structure of personality. Despite facing various challenges throughout his career, Cattell remained unwavering in his dedication to the field, publishing an impressive body of work that included over 500 articles and 43 books. One of Cattell's significant contributions was his categorization of traits into common and unique traits, as well as the identification of surface and source traits. Surface traits, as he discovered, correlate with one another but are relatively less stable. On the other hand, source traits are unitary factors that underlie the surface traits. Now, let me provide you with an example to help illustrate Raymond Cattell's categorization of traits into common and unique traits, as well as the identification of surface and source traits. Imagine you have a group of individuals who are all highly sociable and outgoing. They enjoy socializing, attending parties, and engaging in lively conversations. These observable behaviors represent the surface traits that Cattell identified. Surface traits are relatively more superficial and can be easily observed or measured. In this case, the surface trait would be sociability. However, Cattell went further to explore the underlying factors that contribute to these surface traits. He identified source traits, which are the fundamental, unitary factors that influence and give rise to the surface traits. In our example, the source trait underlying the surface trait of sociability could be extroversion. Extroversion is a broad and stable characteristic of an individual's personality that influences their social behavior across various situations. Now, let's consider another example to understand the distinction between common and unique traits. Imagine you have a group of individuals who are all highly organized and detail-oriented. They excel in planning, keeping things in order, and paying attention to even the smallest of details. Again, this represents a surface trait identified by Cattell. When it comes to common traits, these individuals share a common underlying factor that contributes to their organized behavior. This common source trait could be conscientiousness. Conscientiousness is a personality trait associated with being thorough, reliable, and organized. On the other hand, unique traits come into play when we consider individual differences within the group. While all individuals may exhibit the surface trait of being organized, each person may have their unique patterns or expressions of organization. For example, one person may prefer color coding systems, while another may rely on checklists. These unique expressions of the surface trait of organization highlight the individuality of each person. Cattell's categorization of traits into surface and source traits, as well as common and unique traits, helps us understand the complexity of human personality. It allows us to identify the underlying factors that shape observable behaviors and recognize both shared and individual characteristics within a group. By studying these traits, researchers and psychologists gain valuable insights into personality development, individual differences, and how these traits relate to various aspects of human behavior. Cattell's groundbreaking research led him to identify 16 fundamental source traits, known as temperament traits. These traits serve as a crucial foundation for understanding personality. They manifest in everyday conversations and play a vital role in shaping an individual's unique disposition. Cattell's personality theory emphasizes dynamic traits, motivation, and the interplay between heredity and environment in the development of an individual's personality. According to Cattell, heredity accounts for approximately 80% of intelligence and timidity, with social and environmental factors influencing the remaining two-thirds. He proposed a comprehensive framework of personality development that spans an individual's entire life, highlighting infancy as a major formative period shaped by parental influence, sibling relationships, and early experiences. 
Childhood, adolescence, maturity, late maturity, and old age are all pivotal stages that contribute to an individual's personality formation. Cattell's definition of personality places great emphasis on predictability and lawfulness in behavior, allowing for limited room for spontaneity. He advocates for determinism, acknowledging the influence of both nature and nurture on personality development. In his pursuit of understanding personality, Cattell also developed three primary assessment techniques, L-data, Q-data, and T-data. L-data involves observers rating specific behaviors in real-life settings, providing valuable insights into how individuals behave in their natural environments. Q-data, on the other hand, relies on questionnaires that individuals fill out to provide self-reported information. However, Cattell acknowledged the limitations of Q-data, including superficial self-awareness and deliberate falsification. Perhaps Cattell's most well-known contribution in the realm of personality assessment is the 16PF test. This widely used tool measures 16 major source traits and has been translated into numerous languages. Its versatility extends beyond academia, finding applications in clinical diagnosis, relationship counseling, and workplace evaluations. Recent research has demonstrated the test's predictive power in assessing marital stability, shedding light on the compatibility and long-term prospects of romantic relationships. However, it is important to exercise caution when interpreting the results, as the test can be susceptible to deliberate falsification. Therefore, it is essential to consider other assessment techniques and corroborative evidence in clinical and research settings. Cattell's exploration of the nature versus nurture debate regarding source traits has yielded compelling findings, suggesting that some traits are primarily inherited, while others are significantly influenced by environmental factors. In conclusion, Raymond Cattell's work has laid a significant foundation for our understanding of personality theory. His research and theories have provided invaluable insights into the complexities of human behavior and the factors that shape individual personalities. As we continue our exploration of personality psychology, let us appreciate the contributions of scholars like Cattell who have expanded our knowledge in this fascinating field.